Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, this took me a long time to do. Hours and hours of work. And it turned out absolutely amazing. I'm very happy with it. When I, the person I gave it to is very happy with it. And I don't want to tell you what it is until you see it. Well, until after this. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it and get her done. Today I'm going to be making a... So, you can see I've already got started. I'm using a 4 by 2 I believe it is, piece of plywood. Yep, 4 foot by 2 foot. And then I got some 1 by 6s, and I got some 1 by 1s. And yeah. So... Mm -hmm. on this outer edge of the 1x6 to hold it temporarily so that way I can put this other side on and then get these end pieces measured and cut. secure better I'm gonna measure these edges these ends cut them but only screw one side in because that side will be screwed to the top which will be sliding in and out those three sides done this front piece like I said will be connected to the top and will be the part that slides in and out as you open it so we'll set that aside and we'll start working on the stands to hold the slides for the top part
right, guys, so here's the majority of the work complete. Well, the big portion of it. There's still some technical stuff I need to go around. Sand the edges. I'm thinking about rounding these edges, make it look a little neater and cleaner. But this is going to be. And then, as you open it, yeah. Get some more room here. Set you up so you can see the full picture. So that'll stay. Next room. I'm gonna put little trim pieces around here to hide the small gap of the plywood. Make it look more inconspicuous so it's not it doesn't even look like it's there. So here it is. Full length, four feet. I ended up, when I bought these tracks, I bought four of them to hopefully make two. But as I got into it, just one track on both sides wouldn't open it wide enough, so I used two on both sides, so four. I'm gonna have to go buy some more for another one if I wanna make another one. But yeah, this is it. Nice, clean touches. Next step, like I said, would be sand all the corners and edges around, make everything a little cleaner. Maybe router the edges to make them rounder, make it look nicer, then paint. Which means I gotta disassemble the whole entire thing. Still wanna glue it all together, so each seam will be glued for extra strength. And then painted, well, glued, sanded again, then painted, and then I'm thinking about I might burn this or paint it. But my paint, I was thinking about doing like a, a frosted over, misted kind of, so it doesn't really get super dark, but you can still see the wood. So if I burn it, you'll see it, the wood burn through the paint. So from here, let's get to sanding. Now that I've got it all assembled, corners are touched up, looking pretty flush now. Time to take it apart, glue it, put it back together, and sand it again, then paint it, and yeah. So I'm gonna try to take one piece off at a time and glue as I go. That way it saves a lot of time from marking each piece and where it goes and put it back together. So if I just take this front piece off, glue it, put it back on, take the next piece off, glue it, it'll just, I think it'll make it a lot quicker. So, let's see how it goes. Now I don't really want to glue all these pieces that the tracks are connected to in case for some reason in the future they break or need to be replaced all this will still come apart except for this base piece and that's okay because everything is just put together and then to that so yeah
Alright, now that I got everything glued together and screwed back together, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on, slide it in there, and let it dry overnight. And tomorrow, I will route all the edges. Just on the top, though. Um, just make it a cleaner cut. I don't know. Cleaner edge. I don't know if I want to do... I'm definitely going to do the outside. But I don't know if I want to do the outside and the inside. Because I might just make it completely round. It might look weird. So I'm going to start with the outside. And then I got a sample piece over here. I'm going to test it out and do both sides and see what it looks like. So stay tuned for more. So... I think I'm gonna do the inside and the outside. I thought it was gonna be closer, but looking at that now, I think it'll look pretty clean. So let's go ahead and get her done. Got this sanded down. This slides nice and smoothly behind it. I might just touch this little coat with the sander just to make it a little bit easier slide in there. But right now, it slides pretty nicely. Reach that flush. Can't even tell it opens. So now I gotta flip it over and do the same thing. That is right here, the small trim piece in here to bring this tighter up against the side of Now that I got all of it together, I take these trim pieces back off, take the two inside pieces back off, and glue them down. caught in the moment of work 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 so this edge 
and this is all the way around, so it'll be like a round, round, and round. <clears throat> I think it'll make it look pretty nice. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, it doesn't have much to sit on the plate of the router. So I'm gonna do my best with doing it by feel. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. All right guys, like always, thank you for watching. And all those that are subscribed, stay subscribed. And those that aren't, subscribe. Do gotta apologize for doing this. I have to make a part two, only because if I would've done one entire part, it would've been way too long. And yeah, so cut it up in twice. Once, cut it in half. Yeah. I'm actually doing that right now. So yeah, come back to see part two. You won't be disappointed.